Hey guys, it's Thomas Fam again with another RPG Maker MB tutorial. I've been getting a lot of requests for this one, so I figured that I'd make the video and see what you guys think about it. Um, in this video, I want to compile the program behind me and convert this to an APK using Intel XDK, showing you guys exactly what's involved with the development process and actually submitting this to the store. So follow along and let's have some fun. So the first step is to actually have a publisher account with Google. You can follow the link above or go to the description and follow the link down there. You need to read through these guidelines and actually follow through them, pay $25 and that's pretty much it. I'm not even kidding, it takes like five minutes. You want to then compile your game by clicking on File, Deploy, Android slash iOS, and then actually deploying this to wherever your location is. Now don't forget, as I said in my previous videos, you want to optimize this a bit, so try to delete files that you don't need. In my project, I had a lot of animations that I didn't need, and I, there was a lot of music that I didn't use either. I just deleted those. Next, you want to open up Intel XTK and create a new blank document. I chose a standard HTML5. I don't really need Cordova for anything. I don't have any additional plugins, so choose whatever best fits your needs. And don't forget to name your project something. Next, just like in the previous video, you want to right-click on the www at the top left and click on Show and Explorer. Delete the www folder that comes up and go to your project file. Double-check the size to make sure it's good and move it over. The next step is to make sure that your game actually runs an emulator and you can see that it does. When you are finished testing, at the very top left, click on Projects, and then make sure that you expand out Build Settings. There's a few settings here that you have to change. Make sure that you take note of the app ID, the app name, app version, and even the app version code. You have to change your app ID. I usually use com dot the game's name, so RPG Maker Tech Demo, and the publisher's name, so my name. You can change the app name from here. This is what's going to show up on the application list on your phone. The description obviously is quite important as well, so I'll just write um, tech demo for RPG Maker MV. Author, me, the app version. This shows up on the store, so if you make any updates to your application, this is the version that they use, and I'm just going to use 1.0.0.0. I always like checking in full screen and making sure landscape is the default orientation, especially for these kinds of games. Unless you're making a portrait game, then that's a di different situation. Um, now, if you select default, though, the user can switch through either or. The app version code is going to be very important. You need to change this anytime you update an, or if you upload a new version to the um, to the store. So, if the app version code one already exists and you do a newer version of the same app that app version code needs to be incremented, or at least be different than one, otherwise it's not going to let you do it. So if you want a custom splash screen and a custom icon, you want to expand this box below and load images according to these resolutions. You can't just load any image though, it has to be in the www folder. The easiest way to get there is go to develop, right click on www on the left side, and then click show in explorer. Double click on the www, minimize, and load your icons into this folder. Now you should be able to select them in Intel XDK. Let's see if it works. Okay, very cool. And the last step is to actually upload your project. Go to Build, Crosswalk for Android, Upload Project and now let it do its thing. This will take a minute. When it's finished, you want to click on Build App Now, and then it should start building. Now that it's finished, click on Download Crosswalk APKs, select a destination, and then click Save. You're not going to see a progress bar, so the best thing that you can really do is go to the destination and check the file size. When you see the file size stop growing, you know it's done. Otherwise, you could just double click, and if you see this error message, it means it's not finished. Now that it's finished, double-click on your zip file and grab the appropriate APK file that you want to upload to the store. You also want to rename this so it's easier for you to find. Go to your developer's account and log in. 
And then once you do, click on Add New Application. You want to give this application a title. Click on Upload APK. And you can have the option to upload for beta testing, but I don't really care for it right now. Let's go ahead and upload it. Okay, now that it's finished, you'll notice that the custom icon that I loaded is up here. The unique ID that I created is also there too, but it's not into production yet until we fill out the rest of the document. So let's click on store listing. The title of the application will show up here. It's going to be the name that you search in the Google Play Store. And then let's type a short description. And then the full description. And you need to add some graphics to this. I believe you need at least one icon, one graphic for the top of the store, and one screenshot. Let me load that up real quick. Okay, so I just finished uploading all my screenshots. Don't forget to scroll down and fill out the categories. You also need to take uh, Google Play's new content rating survey so you can get this little neat little bar down here. It's full of silly questions, but you have to do it. One of the more important parts, though, is you do need to enter a privacy policy URL. If you don't have one, just click in that check mark, then click Save at the top. Once it's finished, go through content rating and pricing distribution, read through those, and basically make sure that you check in the ones that do apply to you. So if you want your application to be distributed in all countries, if you accept um, export laws and so forth, just read through it. And then when you have all green check marks after saving, click Publish App. When it's finished, click on All Applications at the top left, and you'll notice that you have a pending publication now. This should take anywhere from 2 to 8 hours to actually show up on the store. So you should be able to, by the time you see this, type in RPG Maker Tech Demo XDK and be able to download this application. I hope that this was informative for you. If you guys have any other questions, give me a call. Or don't give me a call. Let me know. We're learning more and more about RPG Maker and how it interacts with Intel XDK. If your application does not run as smoothly as it should, don't worry about it for now. We're still looking into ways where we can enhance the experience for everyone. Me and a few other people on the forum are looking at different ways that we could get this to run even faster. So follow this channel or contact me on the forums to get some more information.